Once upon a time, in a distant and magical kingdom, a hapless serving boy named Chauncey saved the life of the good king, and as reward was made knight and lord to minister over vast tracts of land and protect its kind and loving inhabitants from the clutches of the evil, cunning, hungry, whole... <laughs> Once upon a time, in a distant and magical kingdom, there lived a young serving boy named Chauncey. <laughs> please, please, continue, Chancellor! <laughs> so there we are. The delegation from Borgo on one side, the congregation from Shmu on the other. Now the high priestess of Shmu, as you know, considers herself to be so beautiful as to entrance all her devotees. <laughs> now has the appearance of a large drowning rodent. <laughs> She, having been bathed in wine at the hands of the Borgonian ambassador's wife. <laughs> the words that spewed forth from this saintly maiden's mouth were of sort it's to make the most hardened warrior's ears to burn. <laughs> The ambassador, who's had too much wine to drink, springs forth, dagger in hand, onto the table to defend the honor of his betrothed. The king is the king is the king is the in the middle of a kidney pie. <laughs> Your Majesty slips. Your Majesty his dagger to the king. The boy is attacking the king. God, God. Your Majesty! You dare attack the king? No! For this! I will see you die slowly. No! Nonsense! The lad saved my life! What is your name, boy? Uh, Chauncey, sir. M my lord. Y your Highness, sir. And where do you hail from? Well, I, I have no home, sire. I, I was... Raised by a kind herd of wild cows. Ah, well, <clears throat> from this day forward, you are Sir Chauncey. I dub thee Knight of the Realm and grant you vast tracts of land in the Shinto Plains, along with the use of my mighty sword, Grim Thwacker. <laughs> It served me well in defending the kingdom from the evil, insatiable, terrifying horde. Horde? I am Cronus Mela, the King's High Chancellor. His Majesty has asked that I give you this deed to the Shimto Plains. Garden spot of the kingdom. Really? Trust me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sire, these reports of hordling attacks are no doubt overblown. The wild and outrageous tales of ignorant, drunken farmers. I thought I had rid the kingdom of the horde nearly 50 years ago. Announcing the arrival of Sir Chauncey of the Shimko Plain. Ah, my liege, I wish to report that I have established a thriving town in the Shimto Plains. And I have rid the surrounding lands of the evil horde. Impossible! Do tell. 
How many of the foul beasts did you slay? A dozen? Oh, hundreds, my lord. Ah, they have returned. I knew it after all these years. Sir Chauncey, in honor of your courage, I give you this Medal of Valor, granting you the exalted title Master of the Shimto Plains. How are you feeling today, Chauncey? Any headaches? Hmm? <laughs> Any sharp chest pains? <laughs> oh! Ow! Oh. Oh. Chancellor! Oh. Chauncey! How are you feeling today? Never felt better. <clears throat> Here! This entitles you to the Tree Realms of Alberga. More gifts from King Winthrop. The Tree Realms of Alberga? Oh, I, I've heard the trees there are like ancient beings, providing homes and shelter for the creatures of the forest. They speak as the wind blows through their branches. Chop them all down. Huh? The locals have some outdated beliefs about the sanctity of the forest. Tree spirits? <laughs> Environmentalist drivel. And what about the cord, sir? Chop down the trees and they'll all go away. Trust me, boy. When the going gets tough, the tough go chopping. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Your Highness, rally the guard, call for the knights. Sir Chauncey is in the court of your enemy, King Borgo, plotting to overthrow your kingdom. Chauncey? That doesn't sound like Chauncey. Are you sure, Chancellor? Let me lead a small army and capture the little fiend. Announcing the arrival of Sir Chauncey of Alberga, master of the Shimto Plain. The tree realms of Alberga have been cleansed of the hordling menace. And the people? Uh, prosperous and content, my lord. They dance happy jigs, they sing praises for your majesty's name, and best of all, they pay their taxes on time. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. In honor of your great achievement, Sir Chauncey, I give you this medal and grant you the new title, Protect of the tree realms of Alburga. Thank you, sir. Borgo. Do I know a King Borgo? Chancellor? Same time next week. Oh, good. Sir Chauncey. We are all so proud of you. Right. King has requested that I give you this deed to your new land. The fetid swamp of Boozle. Valuable wetlands teeming with possibilities. Right. <clears throat> with possibilities. Announcing the arrival of Sir Chauncey of Buzal, master of the Shimto Plains, protector of the tree realms of Alberga. I bring good news, my liege. I have drained the swamps. Wonderful! And created prosperous farmlands. My lord! Sir Chauncey has brought in a plague from the swamps, a hideous pox. We must quarantine them immediately in the dungeon. Oh, it's a miracle! Sir Chauncey has healed me! Hurrah! Hurrah! Oh. I'm no doctor, but uh, I'm certain he's going to have a relapse. Sir Chauncey, your continued efforts have earned you this 
new title, Emancipator of the Swamps of Boozle. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Thank you, my liege. I have given orders to my army to destroy the village. Oh, tall, handsome, and merciless knight, please don't destroy the village. I'll do anything. Anything? Anything. Even the frenzied cavorting of Shmoo? Yes, even that. Especially that. <laughs> <laughs> Chancellor, <laughs> I'm not interrupting something important, am I? Why no? <clears throat> Why no? The great Sir Chauncey, uh, the king has ordered me to give you this deed to the Carniard Desert, home of the desert Amazons. You'll love it there, boy. I'm looking forward to turning the kingdom's greatest desert into a garden. My burrowing sand hoardlings will make a meal of you before you plant your first petunia. <laughs> My liege, Sir Chauncey, the brave, noble knight, is dead. All that remains... Now, in regards to Sir Chauncey's lands... I'm... Enough with those damn trumpets already! Announcing the arrival of Sir Chauncey of Kanya, master of the Shinto Plains, protector of the tree realms of Alberga, emancipator of the fetid swamp of Buzo. <laughs> Greetings, Your Highness, from the Karnyar. My lucky underwear! Oh, I thought I was dead without them. Thank you, my lord. But how... Clearly, there's been an unfortunate mistake. <laughs> how fares the Karnyar Desert? Your Highness, with careful irrigation and a lot of hard work, the desert is now a thriving and bountiful garden. Chauncey, you amaze me. Your miraculous efforts have truly earned you the title Supreme Pasha of the Karnyar Desert. Thank you, my lord. and dried spiders to ensure an immediate and painful death. <laughs> Care to share the joke, Chancellor? Chauncey, you must be thirsty from your long journey. A toast to your success. My new lands, High Chancellor. Ha, ah, uh, yes, the, uh, frozen waste of Vesh. Let's see you make a garden out of Icicleville, Mr. Miracle Worker. I think you were a little light on the liver of Lizard. Seeing you again. <laughs> High Chancellor Cronus Maylor. He's late. He'll be here. 
announcing the arrival of Sir Chauncey of Besh, master of the Shimko Plains, protector of the tree realms of Alberga, emancipator of the fetid swamps of Buzal, and supreme pasha of the Karnyar Desert. I have returned, Your Highness. The frozen wastes of Vesh have been civilized, though they remain a mite chilly. In addition, I believe at last I have vanquished the horde from our entire kingdom. You have done exceedingly well, Sir Chauncey. We are truly in your debt. You have returned my kingdom to me, rescued it from the elements, and delivered it from the evil horde. Since I have no son of my own, I believe it is time to name you the heir to my throne. Enough of this lunacy. Throw away the crown on this... this... pudding-headed fool! The crown is rightfully mine to rule the kingdom. Me, Chancellor. Me, Cronus. Me, King! You serious nutcase! You may have defeated my hoardling minions, but now you must face me! Behold the Horde King! You truly deserve to be my heir. From this day forward, Sir Chauncey, you are my adopted son and heir to the throne. (laughs) And they all lived happily ever after. And the horde was never ever seen again. Wait, what? Oh my! Oh, no! Sir Chauncey's been killed? Yes, sire. The mighty Grim Thwacker will thwack the horde no more. This is a national tragedy. Oh, yes, poor Chauncey. So about his real estate holdings, your highness. Being a ruler is a difficult business. I thought you could handle it, but I see that I was wrong. Shall I alert the executioner, sire? No, 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 the cook. He shall go back to waiting tables. (laughs) I'll be sure to leave you a good tip. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Ah, Chauncey. Welcome to debtor's prison, servant boy. See how far saving the king's life gets you if you can't pay your taxes? 
And there's only one way to get out of prison. That's to pay your debt. Or to get the key. <laughs> Hello, you have reached King Winthrop, and I'm not in the castle right now. I'm busy personally leading nine contingents of my finest horde slayers to eliminate some hordlings for you. Please leave me a message at the Royal Beep. Hello, Chauncey. And they say money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> Water it often and uh, give it morning light. Enjoy. <laughs> oh. I just got back from my annual walk around the castle this morning and uh, are my feet sore. Before you find yourself in a similar fix, I've asked Shumley, the court magician, to charge up your ring of teleportation a bit. I hope you enjoy. Oh, more salts of Epsom. <sighs> King Winthrop is planning on touring the kingdom this year, Chauncey. And to avoid traffic jams, he's banned all forms of transportation. Even I was surprised that he took my suggestion so quickly. Immigration will suffer, to be sure, but better yet, you will suffer. <laughs> Hello, Sir Chauncey. King Winthrop has decided to give a bonus to his most trusted advisor, me. When I told him you offered to pay for it, he was delighted. Are you surprised? Well, you shouldn't be. Next time you send your pants to the laundry, I suggest you take out your ATM card first. <laughs> Greetings, Sir Chauncey. Rumor has it there's been a sudden increase in the number of hoardlings recently. Maybe it's the weather. Or maybe it's because King Winthrop is ill and I've declared the Horde an endangered species. <laughs> Just like you're about to become. Ah, good afternoon, Sir Chauncey. I gather you noticed that your ring of teleportation is missing. I borrowed it to run some very important errands for the realm. Ah, oh, four o'clock. Tea time. Gotta run. <laughs> to counter this year's expected drought, the king's wizard, Shumley, cast a rain spell. Unfortunately, so did the Brotherhood of Mages and the League of Weather Witches. A major flood watch is in effect. Other wizards have still been unable to squeeze a single drop of rain out of the blistering hot sky. Crop yields are expected to drop considerably. When asked to comment, High Chancellor Maylar said, Well, at least it's a dry heat. Both the Knights Union and the Archers Guild announced fee hikes of 50% for the coming year. The head archer cited last winter's ill-conceived Adopto-Hordling program, where nearly half of their ranks were, and I quote, devoured like popcorn. King's Magical Advisory Board revealed that Mercury is in retrograde and a large meteor is about to annihilate our land. Meanwhile, in sports, the jousters killed the archers three spears to nothing.
ranchers have been celebrating an unusually high birth rate among cows this year. But the party ended today when they found they were up to their noses in fertilizer. Luckily, farmers have agreed to buy it all and forecast predict a superior crop next year. In the news today, Sir Algeron Plup, the King's Minister of Comings and Goings, announced that immigration is at an all-time high, suggesting that the new Friends Fly Free policy is working. Search parties have been deployed looking for the kingdom's tax collectors, who have been missing since the beginning of tax season. The king has decreed that if they are not found soon, there will be no taxes this year. The royal tax collector could not comment as he was all tied up. Despite last-minute negotiations, the king's labor advisors were unable to reach an agreement with the Archers Guild. All archers are now on strike and are unavailable anywhere in the kingdom. The guild's main demands are fewer hours, more quivers, and cheaper life insurance payments. Hi, I'm Priscilla, and I'm speaking for the Adopter Hordling Agency. <laughs> the agency helps in bringing happiness to human families by allowing them to adopt a hordling. These wonderful, well-mannered, and well-behaved creatures would make a warm addition to any household and provide mounds of entertainment. <laughs> uh, hello, and this be special report. Uh, a special human report. <laughs> be on lookout for this man. His name is... Uh, uh, Chauncey. He is on the loose, being mean to innocent humans, uh, like me. Here is recent victim. He's crazy like nuts. He must be stopped. Me, just standing there admiring cow. Cow. Then cow whoosh! Simply terrifying. He must be stopped. Remember, keep peeled eyes. Mm. Peeled 